Hey guys, it's Googly again with another video and this is going to be a continuation to the ROM flashing guide for the OnePlus 6T. So this is part 2 in which I tell you guys how to go from one custom ROM to another custom ROM on our device. So stay tuned for that. So guys, now that you have gotten a custom ROM ready on your device from Oxygen OS, that is part one. If you haven't checked that out, do check that out because that is where I talk about how to get the files and everything there. Link in the description below. Now you have been using the ROM for a time now, some while, and uh, well, you now need to move to another ROM just to check out maybe, or just to help with something else. If you're having bugs with the current ROM, you want to try out something else, and there are a lot of available for us now the basic things are i'm going to do a few of the assumptions again first of all you had come to the custom rom by following the method which is by flashing onto the two slots the oxygen os table release 9.0.13 is a stable one right now so you had flashed it to both the slots you had flashed the rom you had flashed the g app you had flashed the magisk module also and you have your rom currently working with team and recovery the reason I say that is because a lot of ROMs right now do have OTA updater and if you had updated via OTA there is a high chance that your device does not have team in recovery as of now because most of the OTA updaters does not flash team in recovery so you will need to get team in recovery into your device these are the installation guides which is pretty simple make sure you have team in recovery that's there apart from that you should need to have all the files so let's get to the files which you need for my video this time i'm going to move from resurrection remix louis rom this is the rom which i'm i'm actually currently on great rom but i'm having a few issues with it so i do want to go to another rom so we'll be going into havoc rom the latest version is 22nd may version this is the first file you need to get download this one and then you need the team in recovery installer again you also need the installer as i've already said because of where the recovery is installed whenever you flash a rom zip file it will override the recovery so you do need the installer file also this is a zip file apart from that you need gapps uh, depending on the rom you which you want to flash for example if you want to flash pixel experience it comes with gapps package included so you do not and you should not flash a separate gapps package same goes for Tresic mod it already comes with gapps so you shouldn't need open gapps or gapps package to be flashed again for our purposes havoc does not come with it so you need the gapps package as i've already said i usually go for nano love it it works and then you need the magisk zip file latest stable version which is what i used you just go to github release page and download the latest one whichever is available and uh, it should work out really well it's a good idea to just have the uninstaller zip also in your device if at all you need to uninstall it you do have quick access to it now as i've already mentioned in my previous video part one because of the May security patches, team and recovery will not be able to decode or decrypt your internal SD card. And uh, because we are already on a custom ROM as of now without having decryption, you will need a USB type C OTG thumb drive, or you will need ADB or fastboot enabled computer to ADB sideload the ROM and all the files into your phone. This is something which I mentioned previously. There will be a link in the description to let you guys know how to do that with ADB. I'll be showing you guys the way I do it. It, that is with an OTG thumb drive way easier with that so if you are someone who flashes ROMs constantly maybe two times a month I would suggest you invest in something like that it's pretty cheap very useful in this regard so we have all the files downloaded and here are all the files which we have the team and recovery installer we have the gapps package as I've said I use nano the magisk package I also keep the magisk un uninstaller in my drive just to be sure and I have the latest havoc OS zip file this is not required when moving from one custom rom to another custom rom i just keep it on my drive because that is basically my backup drive so i just keep it there so we have all the files ready again back up everything don't leave anything on backup because if something goes wrong that will be your go-to place one more thing which i do want to mention is that just go through how to get your device back to normal if something goes wrong there are fastboot roms available which are zip files you need an adb enabled computer to 
to do that but it's so much easier if you have any issues with your phone you can just go and uh, fast boot it if you want unlock bootloader or if you want bone stock you can use msm download tool to go factory reset everything reset to where it is it's very essential that you know of the existence of this thing because it can go wrong you never know so again back up everything it might take some time but it will be worth it now i'll move on to my phone and uh, show you guys how to do it so guys we have all the stuff ready and uh, it's actually coming up together now a few checks which we need to do first of all just check out how much battery life you have i have 100 percentage the more the better it's just how it is as i've already said i'm currently on the resurrection mx louis rom i just want to change it to havoc which i have got everything into my otg thumb drive with everything in there assuming you have already made all the backups so let's get started first of all you need to reboot into recovery and uh, there will be a lot of options inside the rom to get you to advanced reboot it will work out now as i've already said because of the main security patches team win recovery cannot decrypt your device so this is something which you need to do swipe to allow notification and we are now in a recovery menu so we have our pen drive you just attach that so let's get started so the first and foremost thing you need to do is factory reset your device so that's the basic step after you have done with factory reset go to advanced advanced wipe the cache system and data do not wipe the vendor just cache system in data so after that you can wipe it and that is done i do a factory reset you may not need to do it but i just keep it for as an assurance so just do that so we have wiped everything that's pretty neat and now we have to go to install and flash the rom zip in this case we are going to have it so i do have the zip file here so i'm going to flash that now this will take a little bit of time so we have flashed the rom zip file next thing to do is flash the team in recovery installer.zip which is very important let's do that so we have our team in recovery installer installed already now we can go back to the main menu select reboot note which slot we are on we are on slot b and press recovery so we are going to reboot into recovery now because i have wiped the system partition in advanced wipe you will have this message don't worry about it just swipe to reboot and now we are back on the team in recovery partition so we are there we are basically halfway there next step now is check which slot we are on we are now on slot a so the slot change is successful just a quick option if the slot change is not successful for any of the reason just press the slot which we want to go into so for example if we are on slot a i want to go to slot b press slot b and then press recovery it will reboot into slot b so just throwing it out there now next thing you need to do is do not wipe anything you have already flashed the rom go to install select the storage because as you can see everything is jumbled up because well encryption go to the usb storage and select g apps that's the next thing you want to install so let's go g apps has been installed that is one more step done the next step is do not reboot now just flash magisk stable latest version so i'm using 19.2 which is a stable version as of now so let's just swipe to flash and again do keep in mind you need to have the dm avb variety and encrypted data key force encrypt enabled so yeah though both the lines are available so your system encryption has not been tampered with and we have magisk also enabled hey that's pretty much it next step is again cross your fingers press reboot system and hopefully it will boot into havoc it will have a reboot in between so keep that in mind yeah this is normal don't worry about it it will show android and reboot that is normal don't worry about it i was scared the first time too so just yeah and now we have booted we are booting into havoc oh yes as, as you can see this is the havoc boot animation it will go in and uh, hopefully it will work out really well so uh, yeah i'm just gonna speed up now and uh, show you guys that it is working and there you have it that is the uh, havoc boot animation is done it has booted up into havoc now one more thing you will find the uh, pin because i did not delete the pin when i was removing the last rom you can do that you will not have this screen if you do that so it's a good thing just keep that in mind as you can see we are booted up i have just made the setup now i'll do that myself and uh, yeah that's pretty much it all i want to say now is that this is how you go from a custom rom 
to a custom ROM, another one of course. So pretty easy, not as long as the previous step going from Oxygen OS to custom ROM because you don't need to flash into both the slots and all that stuff. So this one is pretty simple. Now uh, you can do this from one ROM to another ROM. Definitely I have tried it with chaining up to 6-7 ROMs now and I have not had any issues, not with encryption, not with just the usability of the stuff. It works, so I'm really happy with that. So that is pretty much it which I wanted to mention. Do check out my part 1 if you want to know all the greedy details of stuff. I'm trying to make this video a little bit shorter because no one has time for a 14 minute video so yeah. So yeah that is pretty much it and again get one of these. This is extremely useful so for someone who wants to flash stuff onto a device now. I guess that much is it about the ROM then. Hope you guys like the video. Please share, subscribe and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.